with Eric. Hey, you guys, good day. Um, it's almost lunchtime. We were gonna have an interview with Aaron Foster, but he got called into work. So we're gonna just chill on here on Facebook with you guys and on YouTube. And if you guys have any questions for our TV show, you guys are welcome to drop them in the comments section or inbox us. We're gonna be talking about dating relationships and just like what goes on in the life of a divorce and breakup party planners slash actresses <laughs> slash models and all the other jazz. So Delia, Delia has a subject that she wants to talk about today. So go ahead, Delia. Well, hello, everybody. Um, I just wanted to talk about this subject of, uh, and it affects me because, you know, I'm a grandmother. I'll leave that one like that. Mm -hmm. um, the generation of the women nowadays, the generation of the men, um, what I observed was, of course, I always hear, well, it's a different time than your time. Well, of course. Mm -hmm. But this generation of the women and men, they don't have staying power, mm -hmm. which I mean is they're too easy to give up on the relationship. Yeah. And it's a 50-50 you know, you both, one can't be on the, uh, uh, let's make it road. And the other one's like, oh, well, they don't have A, B, or C, so I'm out, you know. Mm -hmm. And what I just wanted to say was, no matter what relationship you go into, it's stop looking for the perfect. Stop looking for perfect because they're not. There's I, no to that realization, I was like, you know what? I don't think there's probably ever going to be a man that can satisfy me. So like, what I expect from them it's like they are totally totally off or clues or, or they just don't care so I don't know if I'm ever going to find someone that meets what I'm looking for or something like that because or yeah. even just does the basics my god it's hard to find oh, someone yeah and you have the basic yeah yeah it's gonna be a lot to uh, oh I love your mug it's gonna be a lot to to uh to find but you know um thank you so it's like the way we think yeah but this the, the thing is is that somehow when you're with somebody and you do have kids i'm not trying to say stay like it was back in my day no you know but uh, of course if it's domestic violence then of course that's a different subject yeah definitely then you, you got know, to gotta find a way out yeah definitely but you know um you gotta help you gotta be each other's partners plain and yeah. simple at the end of the day you gotta be each other's partner yeah support respect is a big one respect each other true very true yeah no, I, what I, is your take on that sweetie um no i no i totally um I get it. And I think a lot of people have different um, yes. perspectives on what respect is. For to me, like, I respect to be treated this certain way. And, and like other people, like, it's okay for them. So like, uh, uh, there's, I think people should talk about what their expectations are at the very beginning. Like mm -hmm. for me, I've noticed like in the past, like, you're still communicating with your ex. And I've talked about this on Facebook all the time. You're still communicating with your ex or you you're still talking with the mother of your kids and your kids are grown and some people agree that's okay and sometimes no, I think don't. No. no you don't do you agree with no that? I agree no go ahead no I do yeah. okay because yeah certain times I'm like I can understand cer certain things and then other things I think are disrespectful so um I think in a relationship I want to be a priority not your baby's mom you know you that's the past that's the past is the past you guys are here to just exchange kids or whatever but there's no need for like her to be hooking you up with flight benefits or whatever I I don't know I don't know if you guys have relationships like that but I don't I don't think that's cool like you shouldn't be still benefiting off your ex like that is how I look at it and you definitely shouldn't be skyping skyping females in the bathroom like if you live with a woman you shouldn't be in the bathroom like skyping other females that's disrespectful exactly that's what i'm saying these fools have no totally. respect now i'm not saying everybody but i have noticed there's some fools that just have no respect at all 
no class, no morals. And then when you flip it on them and you do your own thing, something's wrong with you. No, you have no idea of how to treat a woman. So, right. I agree. I agree. And, you know, um, and, and if they want to look at uh, Skype or whatever's on the internet, then, you know, let me pack my bag because I'm gone. Bye. Thank you. No, you got to get gone because a lot of times they, they don't, they're living with you. <laughs> they want a roof over their heads. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. Like, not supposed to be that way. The, the exactly. guy still supposed to be taking care of the woman. No, I totally get it. A lot of these fools are trying to move in with you. They're trying to ask you for some damn money. I'm like, I'm a woman taking care of kids. Like, you don't even have your kids living with you. So you definitely should not be asking me for money. Like, you should have more money than me because you're not taking care of two people. You're taking care of yourself. So I just don't get it. some of these fools. I, I agree. And yeah. and uh, respect, it can be a, a big, that's a big one there. Respect, like you say looking at the internet and that's including for her too yeah. her looking at the guys him looking at other girls then you know what you're you might as well just be by yourself no and i've been there too my own self like you um you know? it's hard to draw the line like who's a friend who's trying to get at you um have yeah. a, that respect for one another so i go back and forth on that a lot too because i have guy i have a lot of guy friends and that causes issues that's caused issues in my relationships too so it's just it's hard having certain boundaries and i know guys that are live with women and you never meet their woman so i think that's disrespectful as well if you have a partner and you have female friends they should be able to meet your female friends or else you got something to hide you're trying to do a little that's bit more right. if yeah. they don't have nothing to hide yeah they can be introduced. exactly yeah yeah, if you can't introduce me, there's something going on here. Exactly, dear. Exactly. What the fuck was that? What was that? I don't know, but it got scared. I was like, oh, God, I've already... Oh, this whole other... Spirit. Oh. oh, God, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But anyway, so now let's talk about this outfit since I do have this on. I okay, to... I love the purple because I love purple too. And I know everybody, that's her favorite color. Yeah, I do love purple since I was a kid. She, loves, she looks good in it. I love Thank it. You. Thank you. I'm a divorce and... breakup party planner. So purple is one of my favorite colors. And I'm a Pisces. But I have- Nobody uh... knows that by now. I hope they know that by now. I, I'm Boy. wearing this, you guys, because I went to a Catholic- a themed 50th birthday party this past weekend. And I, I didn't know whether to wear the veil or I should wear my Pope outfit. And I decided to go with the Pope outfit. You guys can check it out on my Instagram. I thought like, look, I'm going to let my little outfit go to waste. Of cute. course, I'm going to come throw it on the divorce party planner show. Oh, yes. Might be off the subject, but I found my brunette wig. Oh, Yes. We got to I got to wear it one time for the interview, so you'll see. Okay, yeah, I remember you mentioned it before. Short. You're supposed to have it on another segment, but it's all yeah, good. Yeah, it's short, but I did find it. Okay, cool, yeah, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. But, but um, go ahead and so, expand on the subject. Uh, so anyway, the reason I, I brought that up, you know, me having, you know, grandkids and, you know, different girls, you know, have who have my grandkids, it's just that, you know, it would be nice to see um, my sons stable with one girl, you uh -huh. know? Yeah. But it's really, is she the one? We don't know, you know? No. Like I always say, if they can accept you for who you are right now, good and bad. Yeah. And, and want that, then, you know, that's great. But... You know, I, I I hate when they say, well, mom, it's a different year. Yeah, you know, yeah, it is a different year from when I met their father. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. back in the 80s. But <laughs> there still is, do you want to be in this relationship with him or not? Yeah. There's you know, still right and wrong. Yeah, and I think there's like protection, like in being in a solid relationship. And I honestly, as I get older, I was like, okay, honestly, I always wanted to be married, but these fools were not. Uh, husband material. Yeah, <laughs> material 
I think there's protection in being married, like, and then you, you don't have as many trust issues because I like I know at the end of the day, I'm going to my home to my husband or I, there's a ring, so people know this person is taken, you know. So for me, that's comforting. And if a woman crosses that line or if he crosses that line, like, then we just know they they gotta go. They're just like the worst oh, of the worst. Romantic. I don't know about being romantic. I just oh, think that's, I think that's just the truth. Like, come on now. We need well, some. If that going up, if he thinks the same way. If the guy thinks the same way. Yeah. Because about marriage. Like, no, I totally agree because um, I met, I used to think like if you're married, I don't know, I guess as a younger person, if you're married, people don't cheat on each other. But as I've gotten older, I'm like, oh my God, they're still cheating when they're married. So oh. got to meet meet someone who's on the same level. Yeah, level, or they think the same as you. Think the same and all that, dear. Because yeah. my first marriage wasn't none of that. Yeah. Cheater. Oh no. User. And and you know it's just a a no no of of a marriage. But my thing was I thought like you. Oh, I'm married, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was the opposite. Mm. So it was a good lesson. Okay, I'm not a hard I, lesson at that. That you took. You know what I mean? That's a hard lesson to learn. Yeah, what and I was 19, learn? and and I'm glad I learned that lesson. Ooh, yeah. So you know, I'm not a man hater. A, 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 a man hater? No, I'm not really. Uh -huh. um, but <laughs> yeah, they always think we are, but no, not yeah, I know. We because hate the why scumbags. We have we hate the scumbags. <laughs> we have boundaries. Yes. That's why. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, there's been a lot of I I yeah, I get it. A lot of people don't stay with one another. And with the internet, like um social media, oh all God, these so dating much. sites. Like you could be dating someone. And I had this issue when I was younger. I'll just talk about it. Like I was on a dating site and went out with the guy and I would still go log back in, like just to talk to people. And I didn't do it because I was trying to talk to like 20 dudes. I was just so used to socializing with people or if they're not there, I was like, Oh, I have someone to talk to. So I, I have my own issues, you know? So there's stuff that I have to address as well. I guess I just thought like, Oh, well they're there. So I won't be bored to death. So there's definitely is an issue. Like, how do you have boundaries if yeah, they're um, doing whatever they want without no consideration for the next person? You know what I think? They're not ready. Okay. Yeah. They're just not ready. You're not ready. He's I not was, ready. Yeah. If I'm still looking on the internet, you're not ready. Oh my God. Yes, you're right. You're not ready. That's right. That's true. That's, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people just are not mature enough. Not yet. Yeah, which is sad because I got gray hair now and I'm like 47 years <laughs> old <laughs> and they still aren't ready. I've met guys, I've dated older men before and they like, they're still doing the dirt that they did when they're like freaking 20 That's years old. So when they're that true. age, shame on them. Yeah, Come on. yeah, exactly. Like gave them a try thinking, oh, they're older, more, more mature. No there's a reason why they're single at 56 yeah. years old <laughs> there's a reason why they're single mother, at 56 there's a reason why he's married three times there's mm -hmm. a reason why he's married three times she's got kids but where's the baby daddy exactly where's his wife yeah, yeah. yep definitely and i believe we outgrow people too and yeah that happens especially when you're younger i know yeah Back in the day, you're like he's just cute and what cute does not cute does not equal stability cute doesn't pay the bills they don't pay the bills honey no cute I got with problems you got all these girls trying to talk to them you know so yeah so yeah. when you get older you realize like i need someone who's stable who's reliable you know all those different things truthful and faithful all that all that. And we're independent women, you and I, and we really do our own thing for what we want. There's got to be a man out there who can respect that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I have a problem with these men too. I, I am tired of like, they think that we have to work. I work my butt off like probably seven days a week. And oh. to me, like, what are you offering to me? Like, you guys want us to work just as much as you like it. And then 
what what are you bringing to the table? I'm tired of working myself to death. And what are you contributing as a man? So I don't know. I shouldn't be having to work more hours than a man. Right. They should bring me some type of comfort. I shouldn't have to be out here killing myself every day. So I have issues with those type of men too. Like, what are you doing to help this situation or to bring me some type of comfort or peace? Like I shouldn't be like just killing myself. Well, I don't know what they're doing. I know they work a lot too, but that's why I think too, certain men, they can't afford to be with a woman because they want us to bring like half the stuff. Like wow. you as a man make have the capability of making more money than us. Just so you guys should be, I honestly think the main provider, in my opinion. I thought it was, my daddy was the main provider. My dad spoiled us. I keep, mm. I keep, isn't he supposed to be the main provider? Mm -hmm. You know, there's still men out there, but where are you? I don't know. I haven't yeah. found them yet. Yeah. That's why I, I'm like, if a man is thinking like, oh, it's too much to pay her bills. Well, I don't got time for you. Look. Right. If I could pay my own damn bills and you can't help me, what the hell am I here with you for? Like, right. What are you here for? Exactly. So, man, if you guys are listening, like, come on now. Like, I hear guys on here, oh, I pay no bill. Well, bye. Oh, no man. woman in her right mind is going to want to date some man that cannot help with anything. Right. I should not. You know what? It's a damn shame, too. Like, if I date a guy and I have to go ask one of my male friends to help me move my furniture, help me clean my damn roof, you know, or help me with my car. If I have to go to one of my male friends over a guy I'm dating, there's a problem there. there I is. have to go ask one of my male friends for help all the time when you are supposed to be my partner and I laid up with you or seen you all the time. Like, we do. What are you doing? There should never be enough room for some other guy to be spending more time with me than I you. agree. So what the goes <laughs> up with that? <laughs> if everybody agreed, send us a little heart. <laughs> yeah, send us a heart. Drop us a comment. So right. you guys are listening. What are your issues with women today? Like I'm sure they have a lot of issues they with have, them. Yeah, they do. Okay. So keep talking. I'm gonna see if it's pulling up on my page like if there's leaving any comments Let me see. Uh, so you know a lot of things have changed from my time as I keep hearing in my head everybody's okay. telling me that but they're still right and wrong that has not gone out of style okay yes but he knows you know what is right what is wrong you know cheating on somebody you know that's wrong mm -hmm. and if you're not happy somehow some way sooner or later you're going to get out of it i mean that just happens and if it's wrong the universe will tell you you know something will happen to where you're just not with each other no more because it was it was it's not it wasn't even it wasn't yeah. right you're not with that right person mm -hmm. i don't and I, I don't know what what type of men women are running into but i've i have met so many with damn addictions you know what i'm saying like oh my uh, God. drinking addiction uh drug addictions i don't know some okay. might have gambling i haven't dated a guy with a gambling problem but they got so many freaking problems like how can you build a relationship with someone who spends more time at the liquor store than with you <laughs> or the weed shop those two things is so like grow Eat. up already my god grow the hell up yeah and, like Halloween. yeah yeah i mean yeah it's just not for me i mean i've been around it or i have to do like a little bit or whatever but it um to me i'm like that's like little kid stuff honestly to me it makes you lazy that's and, how i view it too. and slow exactly yeah, because if you're working with me or doing something, I ask you to do it something and you're so high, you are not like functioning at, you know, your top. So how can you, it's it's not beneficial to whatever yeah. project we're working on or whatever. We're not knocking the people who do it. Hey, that's up to you. But I'm yeah. just saying for me and her, it's not like we're yeah, not. That's, oh, that's, yeah, that's I'm not. Like, yeah, you got to be like. Makes how, it slow. Yeah, it makes you slow and lazy. And a lot of people will be like, well, <laughs> Some of the top people will do this. Snoop Dogg does. I don't care what Snoop Dogg does. It doesn't work. I don't care. Hey, yeah. he must be good at it because look at him. But 
Sorry. Uh, maybe it works in your household, but it doesn't. We love to meet Snoop Dogg, though. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah that, but that's the, the, that's what they say. Oh, there's surgeons and there's doctors that smoke weed. Okay. They do it on their own time, though. I don't want no surgeon working on me if he's uh, high. I'll just yeah. tell you that right now. Hell no. <laughs> you need to be focused and alert. So, exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else uh, in regards to like people staying with one another. Uh, uh, now they they don't stay even if they have kids. Uh -huh. I, I, you know, and I don't I don't make I I I I agree with that. But I wasn't raised that way. You know, it was different. Yeah, different time. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. That that's give and take. Yeah, you know, they don't have to nowadays. My grandma but, used to say that these times are bad. She said these times are bad when we're referring to like the current time period, because I used to be like, well, a woman can work and men can stay home and watch kids. And then she'd be like, these times are bad. because it's like, the it's Yeah. Opposite. Yeah. What she means, I guess. Yeah. She said men should always work. So, so I think I was brought up to know. Yeah. Always heard that. Yeah. Well, how, and I don't get like, how do people have money for weed uh but you're asking other people for money that's what kills me you should if i cannot stand people to ask me for money if you're like drinking smoking weed or cigarettes you shouldn't be asking me for no money how can you afford those habits but that's you your habit money. exactly i'm not paying for your habit like killing myself going without sleep to support your habit that i don't even buy for myself then you get in your mood Take that mood somewhere else. Bye. Yeah, I didn't even know that weed could put you in a bad mood. Yeah, get booty. Oh, bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Um. A lot of it's poor parenting or parents, uh, who have bad relationships. So they they set the example. And if and, they have bad relationships, more than likely you're going to have the same experience as them. And, and it could be it's the way that the, they want to turn. Okay. They could have two relate. They could have a mom and a dad, but when they grow up, oh, I don't want to do what my mom and dad did. Uh -huh. They go and end up doing something totally different. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then there's some who pay attention and do the right thing. Try to. Yeah, we try to. So you know, I can't. I can't just. I. I, I don't want to blame the parents. It could okay. be. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're good parents, but it's the way they want to turn out. The kids want to be that way. If they want to, you know. Yeah, I, I guess. Mean, all celebrity kids, you know, like they're like, some of them are in jail, some of them are drug addicts, you know, and it's still, it, it, it depends, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I guess we got to learn how to take responsibility for ourselves. But I think we also can be affected by our environment or what we grew up in. Yeah. So. You're right. Like, if you don't know any better, if you don't have, like, parents that are married, then you probably do not put, like, marriage as a priority. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I, didn't. Yeah. I, I was married. I was, I'll say married, but not legally. 29 okay. years. But nowadays, they don't even have that uh, uh law. Yeah. Seven-year law. Now, they don't even do that no more. That's out of the window. Yeah. Oh, we're seven years i'm illegally his but they don't do that no more mm -hmm. i don't even go anymore yeah yeah i get it um and i think a lot of people are changing their views on marriage i think men view it as like they're gonna lose financially so i think that's why a lot of them are moving away from getting married is what i see yeah. so they're greedy they don't want to split thank you there that's what it is then yeah, you might not be married then if you don't want to have a partner and split. Yeah, or if you're like that, do a prenup. Yeah. So yep, I, that's what so I what know. Hers and what yours is yours. If you yep. want to do that? I'll yeah. not be by, by yourself. Yep, but that's my experience of what I've seen is a lot of people are moving away from marriage, which is mm -hmm. what if that's what they choose to do. Like everybody should have the right to decide whether they want to get married or not, but. I just noticed a lot of them, that's their big issues. Like, oh God, she's going to take me for all my money. That's, I think, their main issue. <laughs> it's more than anything. 
Yeah, and a woman who's successful, she probably thinks the same thing about the guy. But and then, you know, as women, we're different. Mm -hmm. We're more of a heart. We're kind-hearted, and, you know, we got that that little side to us that, you know, oh, he's my husband. But men totally think different. Yeah, they really and women. Yeah. So. But, I've... yeah. Good subject. Yep. Trying to think of what else. Like, uh, so Delia, what type of men do you like to date? Uh you never get to ask Delia this question. Millionaire. Okay. No, he don't have to be a millionaire, but he at least has to be uh established. Okay. Company, uh running his own company, having his own business, not just a little hole in the wall, but you know, be successful, like an Different chains of stores, different chains of, you know, companies. Um, liking what I like, acting. Don't mm -hmm. hold me back. Okay. I hold him back. Yeah. And and, uh, and trying to be on the same page as me. You got to have, you got to be on the same level. Okay. He can be a little higher than me because I can go at his level too. Yeah. So we're at your age. Tell people like what age range you're in. Well, not to brag, but, you know, I get hit on from guys in their 30s. Okay. Oh, my boy. Yes. Um, in their 30s, uh -huh. uh, you know, 40s. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know, 30, 40. That's good for me. Oh, uh, bro. <laughs> good looking and nice looking. Most, most of my other female friends, they like younger <laughs> men, too. I've never really been into them, but they've usually liked me. I but it's and, so I guess a lot of my female friends like younger guys. They're usually I, I, cute. I, I won't say that they're not cute, but you go girl though. Uh, uh, but you, you with know, your 34 year old. <laughs> I I want a man, I like men who take care of themselves. Oh yes. Body up, you know, well dressed, smells good all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll just have to make our own. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's that's important you know, that they take care of themselves. Established. And and hey, he doesn't have to be a show business, but it'd be nice if he was a producer, director. Okay. Screenwriter. Oh. Okay, so oh. we know where to look for Delia's man on, on, on <laughs> set. Shoot. But you know, somebody who's out who's doing his thing and it's successful. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I deserve it. No, you sure do. We all deserve it. We all deserve to have a very, you know, good partner that's also successful. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we're getting older, hey. But if not, hey, I can be my, like Cher says, she said her mom told her, oh, Cher, we should settle down and marry a rich man. She says, mom, I am a rich man. But <laughs> Right? I know that's right. But, you know, so, hey, we're deserving it. You and I and all these other women our age. You know what? So yeah, I think sometimes to me, like, uh, I don't need necessarily a rich man. I met some of them and they're usually some hoes too. <laughs> yeah, they can be. <laughs> or yeah. they're never going to settle down. They've been engaged like several times. Um, Have mistresses. So I don't know. So being a successful man, I, I, I'm not saying to have a broke man or nothing like that, but yeah, they don't have to be like super, super wealthy or anything like that. Cause yeah. No, no, but you know, you got all kinds of women throwing themselves at them too. They, like, oh my god! You know, at least he's well established. He doesn't have to be a millionaire, but you know, doing good on his own, have a house, mm -hmm. have property. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's all good as long yeah. as they are a good person to go along with that. <laughs> yeah, he has to be a good person, exactly. Mm -hmm. Not a hoe. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, all me, 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 because move over because I got to get in the limelight too. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. you know, let me be me. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So as an actress, do you think it's hard for men to date you? Because I know I've met, met some guys and I think they might have an issue with me being like online all the time. <laughs> well, if they have an issue, they keep going. I'm not gonna have an issue, but they would be like, I yeah. think they want some type of separation. Like, so they're like, I don't, I don't want to discuss everything online and be in front of the camera. Well, we don't have to, but this is what you do. 
Yeah. This is so they got to accept that, you know. I mean, if not, keep pushing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They got to accept you to who and what you want, what you like and, and what you want, you know, and that's it. They got to accept who you are right now. Okay. That's what I always tell my boys. If she can accept you who you are right now and you haven't hit that big lotto yet. Yeah. That's the girl. Okay. Who's going to be with you for bad to when it gets good. Mm hmm. So what have been some of your issues like when you're dating? I haven't dated in a while, but <laughs> go by what my real. <laughs> I mean, I've dated years ago and, 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 you know, it was okay. You know, I date people who had, you know, they weren't well established, but they weren't poor. Uh -huh. And everybody that I knew who always were attracted to me or I'm attracted to them was always the guys in the Middle East. Okay. But I haven't met the, the wealthy sheik yet. So, okay. you know, keep looking. Are you from but, the Middle East, do you? No, honey. No, I'm not. But thank okay. you anyway. <laughs> so, okay. So they just like you then. Yeah. And, you know, um, it was back. It was different then. Back in the 80s. Okay. That was different. Everybody, we would go out and party to nice places in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, um, nice areas in Seal Beach and just go to these nice clubs. Okay. It was different back then. Mm. You know, everybody wasn't looking to spike each other's drink and, oh, and up you here now. It was yeah. just out dancing and having fun. Okay. Yeah, I never really had too many Middle Eastern men talk to me. Either. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I'm from Arizona. Maybe there's not a lot out there, but maybe there's a lot more in California. They're so. everywhere, honey. Okay. Just haven't met them. Yeah, they're yeah. everywhere. Okay. You know, they can be hoes, too. Oh, Lord. Not the green card. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that, that's something we have to think about that's the green card. Another story. <laughs> so what do you guys, what do you think that these young women should be doing? Since you said they jump from person to person, basically, is what you're saying. Um. Well, she has to know who she wants. If he's not wealthy, is he a guy? Because see, man. Like, I remember when my mom always said, men are, you know, they act the big guy, macho. But you know what? They're like everybody else. They they want somebody to care for them. Mm -hmm. Somebody, to, you know, some are like, oh, I'm not, you know, she's not my mom. We're not trying to be your mom. Oh, Don't God, no. No, and that's the thing. Like, but, I want, that's what my, someone even posted online, like, we don't want to teach a man what to do at no. that freaking age. My God, if you don't know what the hell right. to do, Lord help you. Be. But somebody that, you know, maybe he needs a little push. He's already wealthy or he's well established. If he can be, can he take uh, uh, your opinion of how to do something better? Okay. You know, if you can look at it and say, hey, have you ever thought of this and that on your website? Mm-hmm. Is he, is he okay to take that from a woman that, you know, is trying to help you? That's true. And and some men are have too much, I, I always say it, they got too much pride. Let that pride go. Mm -hmm. Going to be single for the rest of your life, which is nothing wrong with it. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of pride in men who don't want to accept smart women like you and I, you know, a little help, like, you know, Hey, I think you would do this if you did that better. And mm -hmm. I, I see what you're saying. Think. Yep. Don't have too many, pro men, they have too much of that pride. Got yeah. to stop. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What is your perspective on that? I'm men with too much pride. I don't know. I don't know if, that, I don't know if I've had that issue with men that have too uh, much pride. I don't, think so oh, okay <laughs> I don't know what to say, say about that no I'm... good no I don't I don't think I've come across that I, I guess that you see you have different dating experiences yeah than... well I'm older than you but which is good though so so you bring your perspective and I bring mine yeah and you know it's just you haven't met him yet honey you haven't met him yet 
our time is what they it's all in god's timing i know you're like okay well damn i'm almost God, i'm like halfway in the grave <laughs> you know? no, god, god is are. so moving no some of it is my own issues that i have to work through and like yeah and we all have something closing you know. one door before you open another door oh my exactly. god exactly and sometimes you try That's to close that door and they coming back through the damn door. Crazy shit. So Yeah, honey. I agree. Yeah. So I don't know. That's my I that's my thing on that. So mm -hmm. trying to think what else. What else um, can I say about dating and relationships? So for this new year 2024, do you have any dating goals? Like are you are you going to take it into your own hands and find you a date? Or are you going to wait for someone to pursue you, Delia? Well, right now, dating is not on my mind. Okay. Dating is more in the back burner. Okay. My career, I want to do. Okay. I really want to, you know, push that for me is what I really want. Mm -hmm. Not to be cocky, but, you know, I, I am well liked. Okay. Okay. I just like it all depends. I mean, it's open. That okay. door's open. Okay. But my main thing right now is my career. Okay. Which I've been wanting for who knows how long. It's just been there. Okay. And I just see it. It's my time now. And if they want to join, fine. But make sure your producer, director, screenwriter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta be a big fan of me. Oh. Oh, oh have, that's so cute. No, I, I think you'll find exactly what you're looking for. You know, and, and we got to put ourselves first. I love myself. Mm -hmm. And I know you love, you got to love yourself. So we're doing, I'm doing me first. Yeah. You know, doors open if they want to come in. But let me see. There's, I, I got to give them an application, a six page. What? Six page. No, I get it. Because I think a lot of the time my thing was. Wait a minute. You left, you left this page out. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Like, let me see what you're really about. What is you yeah. really, really about? What we want. Yeah. Because these fools ain't talking about nothing. Yeah, They're like, what, uh, I'm going to come see you once a month. Can you, like, uh, can you feel our shoes? Can you feel what we want? Exactly. A lot yeah. of they can't. Look at that menu again. What? Mm -mm. yeah there's definitely different things and i do not want a man on the road let me just put that out there right there oh, remember no truck drivers in yes oh yes i've been there Sorry. but my, my cousin she's married and to truck drivers so it works for her but i just i'm not like that i spent well, a lot of my life by myself i don't know if you guys noticed out there but i yes, spent a lot I of my life by myself so i'm ready for a partner that i can travel you with partner yes come on now she's got a lot to offer oh well, i'm trying and you guys are waiting till i pass out i'm gonna <laughs> kill myself from working too much it's ridiculous actually so i don't know I'm just, yeah, yeah I, hate, so. I hate this they, i think this stage is called the waiting time or the waiting period and i'm like oh my god i'm tired of waiting already like they always say just wait and I'm like how long are we supposed to wait though i know poor girl Somebody, <laughs> don't give her that clock no more no <laughs> clocks around her mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. exactly so is there anyone like on your facebook that you think is cute uh gee he's too famous okay a friend of mine, brad pitt <laughs> Oh yeah, I, no, I like Brad Pitt too. Who does not like Brad Pitt? Really? I don't have anybody really. I mean, they're fans of mine, so keep keep it coming, oh, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is gonna fix. Well, um, but hey, that's good. I think that's good to have a fan because it's a they're, lot gonna, of fans. they're gonna put you as a priority. They're not gonna be like thinking they're all that. Uh, no, is there anybody on yours that you like that think it's cute? We all want to know. Go ahead, girl. Share. <laughs> As they say now, spill the tea. <laughs> uh, they already know that I think they're cute. Oh, or who are? Oh, is that a? Is he a follower? Look at her. He's laughing. not a follower. But he's on my Facebook list. He's on your face. I'm gonna go look. Everybody, go look at her page right now. Okay, let's see if we can. <laughs> What's his name start with? What's initial? 
<laughs> Look at her. <laughs> they already freaking know. I already okay. looked at them or talked to them, so they already know that's who I like. Everybody else, like, they're just my friends. You got yeah. a lot of friends. That's the Pisces. They all have men friends. Oh, my, no. I You know, most of the guys all I dated Pisces were... got men friends. Same thing with the men. Well, I don't know about friends, but... I, men, Pisces well, men? Oh, God, never mind. oh, my God. I think I've dated, like, three or four Pisces men. Like, my first boyfriend was Pisces. It, like, they always had all these girls, like, throwing themselves at they them. They have a I, lot of girls. Yeah. It's, I mean, and, like, Pisces are like mysterious and we're like sexy and <laughs> <laughs> so now my sister rest in peace was a Pisces February 19th rest oh. in peace she, all her One of my best peace, friend's all birthdays her, too all her friends were men yeah yep and and that's how men that's how yeah, these Pisces okay. men are I would be you're standing with a dude and they will a female didn't care if I was there they will walk in between us that's how bold some of these women were when I was younger just to get to a Pisces man. <laughs> I don't know. You fishers got something. I know. <laughs> no, for real though. Yeah, those Pisces, that's too much trouble. I used to think, oh, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm done with the Pisces stage. I am by. Yeah. That didn't, that didn't work after like four times. <laughs> well, they say for Pisces, water signs. Um, But, you know, I'm thinking why? Because you guys are already a water sign. They say Cancer and Scorpio is you guys is. I don't, I don't even know any Cancer. I don't know any Cancers and the Scorp. I have dated a couple Scorpios and um, they're gorgeous men and everything, but uh, I don't think they're really uh, like relationship material from what I see. I don't. Well, then they say Cancer are for home. So you need a Cancer. Oh God. I don't they think know. my daughter and my mom are Cancers and like, we like clash you oh. know so i don't think i want a cancer and then what well, a man might be different than a woman oh maybe but i don't know too many cancers okay how about a virgo oh virgo and pisces you guys are the opposite i uh, is is virgo, virgo is, is virgo the ram no virgos are the lady the virgin of the sign that she holds oh. what what's she holding i don't know oh no Something. I don't know. No, Ram is an Aries. Okay. No. Those are they're the fire sign. Oh no, I don't I don't know too many Virgos. And I think I might have went out with the Taurus before and that must look oh. a little crazy. Okay. <laughs> Taurus, they they work, 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 work. They love to go out and eat. Oh yeah, that one was uh work, 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 work. I'll never see well, him. No, he had a good career like in music and they always been. But he was older and he was crazy out of his mind. I, I, oh, never mind. Yeah, so I'm. I was like, mm -mm. so that was one my older dating experience. And and Capricorn is supposed to be with the Pisces too, but uh, I did that for ten years. My daughter's dad and I. And I don't think I want no Capricorn either. Okay, they can be cold at times, right? I cold. Kind of yeah, yeah, they're kind of boring. I don't know. They're kind of stern, huh? Yeah, kind of. She said he was boring. Kind of boring in his way. And a liar, too. Said he was oh, going yeah. to the go make music and he's at the freaking club. My girlfriends are calling me, telling me he's at the club. Damn, what kind of music he made, though? Yeah, rap music. Or the, the strip club. I don't want no man at no strip club. Let me tell you that right now. So if you right. hang out at the strip club, don't try to date me because I don't want no man like that. If that's what you like to do, be single for the rest of your life. Just don't come this way. Was he a January Capricorn? Yes. Well, definitely. Just not for me. Kind of boring and, and uh, a liar. Oh, Aquarius and a Pisces. There you go. <laughs> what is she laughing at? <laughs> Okay, I, I like that. I like Aquarius. Aquarius. I do like Aquarius. Yeah, they call them the weirdos of the of zodiac. Sorry, guys. Really? Are they? I don't know. My 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 first was an Aquarius, and him and I did not get along. Of course, really? on the least, well, because he was a hoe. Oh His, no! Was like the thanks for breaking it down for me. 
every time we went somewhere, his neck was like the damn exercise. Oh, yeah, and that's and something I, I do. I don't well, want I don't to know if he was like your neck because I was cute. I've always been. Yeah. No, I don't like men like that that are looking at all the different women either. No. Mm. But, you know, you're different. You're a Pisces. You guys probably click. Yeah, I like Aquariuses. I'm trying to think. Um, that would be good for you. That's an air sign. Oh, that's what I was going to say. My stepdad was Aquarius, and I was, like, in love with him. Not, like, in love with him like that, but I really admired not him. Long. Admired him. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was really like, smart and brilliant, actually, and they handsome. Are. He's They're brilliant very, and handsome. Oh. Huh? They're very, like, for the people. For the people? Oh, okay. You know, they're like, they like to uh, demonstrate their rights and mm. stick up for different causes. And mm. well, yeah, he was classy. They're very talented. Yes. They're good they're... artists. Yeah. That's how I look at my stepdad. Very bright and intelligent. Oh, nice. See? Yeah. So I do like them. I don't know. Aquarius are different people. They're good people. They're yeah. fun. Yeah, they are fun. <laughs> They're very blunt. Oh, see, she's going in another way. This is a fact. What? What happened? I think my wig is just Trying to go. She's hiding now. But, okay, so we had a nerve, everybody. It's Aquarius. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. What is that? All right. So, um, are you doing anything for Black Friday? No, not really. Probably put my turkey away. Yeah. I don't really do anything for Black Friday. I think I did something it's when be I was... a madhouse. Huh? It's gonna be a madhouse. Yeah, exactly. I oh, went yeah. like, like I went when I was younger and my aunt and us would stand in these freaking longo lines. Oh for what? I just don't and get it. The what I wanna say on that is that everybody listen. After Thanksgiving, it's always going to be Black Friday. All you notice, everything in December from down is going to be on sale. Exactly. So yeah, I'm not killing myself for a damn. It's TV. always it's all on sale. And I already no got matter. like twenty TVs. I'm good. Yeah, I might like, come on. I mean, it's a lot of money that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, who wants to camp out there? I know. I don't. Night. I don't like being in long lines or going without sleep. Oh. Then you got weird people who are like, uh, you know, want to get in front of you and mm -mm. there's fighting and. No, I, I don't, I don't think it's that serious. Yeah. I don't, there's nothing at that store that I want that bad. One time and I didn't like it, getting up early and. Yeah, no, that's not for me. I'm good. Yes, exactly. Okay, so um, what else? What else do you want to talk about, Delia? Um, that's about the subject I have for today. Um, you know, um, it's a going on subject that'll never get old. Okay. How you're saying that a lot of people, they don't stay with their partner anymore. Yeah. I, I, they don't got that staying time. They have to learn what really partnership is. Well, and I have no, I have no problem being with a partner. I've been with someone for 10 years before, but my thing is, I think for me personally, I'm rushing into stuff without right saying what I want from the beginning, seeing what they want, you know, and it's probably just more uh, drawn to each other physically, or I would say, I'm just be honest. Yeah. <laughs> right. Without well, getting to know each other and saying what right. you want. Yeah. So. It's yeah. gotta be more than that. Yeah, exactly. So you got to talk about what you want from the very beginning. It's just bad because that's not going to pay the bills. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I think, so then like you think like, okay, well, I want my relationship to be this way. And they're thinking something totally different. They don't have the same plans as you. Like I want someone who's going to be on here and they, they're planning a job on the road or something or they're on your level. How yeah. can we build together? Exactly. And they're not building together. That's they're building okay. for themselves or they're building right. for them and somebody yeah, else. Really or they're nice. building they're building uh, for them and their friends. I that's another thing. I cannot stand if I am dating someone and you're on that phone with your guy friend more than me, there's an issue. Like, no. And you guys got secrets amongst each other. You're a freaking joke. That sounds like one of my exes a freaking joke. Like 
just you're you're still catering to your freaking homeboys, basically your friends, instead of your yeah. women. up now. Yeah, grow, grow up. up. Yeah, exactly. And I'm tired of telling people that are this age to grow up. If like come like come on, be grown up already. My and God. Same with the girls nowadays. Yeah. Stop listening to your girlfriends. Oh my God, I totally agree. Have your own mind. Exactly. I don't because no. No, I don't want to be, do what my girlfriends yeah. are doing. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I, I love my girlfriends for certain reasons, but no, I don't. And honestly, that's the thing. Like we all, back in the day, like in high school, we would put our girlfriends first. But as a grown person, like your partner is supposed to come first. And a lot of people say, like, I- they say that your kids are supposed to come first. But according to the Bible, or what if you're religious, your partner is supposed to come first, and then your kids. So like, I think. We need to start prioritizing our partner. I, I know it's a big discussion because everybody's like, my kids come first. So I don't know. Well, but yeah, my kids came first. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what they say. But, you know, everybody thinks different. Yeah, definitely. So It's whatever, you know, you want to do. Mm-hmm. But you got to be on the same level. That's the thing. At the end of the day, you got to be on that same level. Yep. I, I totally agree. And that's the thing. I think people need to talk about what they want from the very beginning. That's probably a big reason why they don't stay together for a long time because no one even discussed what they wanted. Yeah, communication. There you go. Number yeah. one communication. is communication. Yeah, definitely. So. And when you have other kids, oh, that's another subject. When you have other kids, you said. Other time. When they both have kids from a different, from the you know different girl, different guy. Yeah. Can you? Can you know in the beginning, is that what you want? Mm -hmm. You got to, you know, are you going to accept that? That's another thing because you accept him, you accept his kids. You accept her kids. That's the thing that they got to know from the gate. Yeah, because I was reading a book, like a lot of women, they're like, oh, I don't want this guy to meet my kids. But, and Steve. Yeah, Steve yeah. Harvey's book said that they shouldn't see you with your kids so they know like what type of life you guys are going to have together. Is your kid never in the picture or is your kid around? Right. Yeah. Part of your life. They're part of you. Yeah. So if you have a little kid, I'm not going to leave my kid at the babysitter all the time. Like, look, I have a full-time job raising a child and this is what it's going to be like. So they got to see the full picture, not just like part of the picture. Exactly. Yeah. So I yeah, hope- I don't have a problem with guys having kids. I prefer they don't have like freaking eight kids all over the place by different women. Cause that to me, <laughs> they're careless. You know what I mean? And some of these men think they're establishing a kingdom by like having. They're different- not. So they're not taking care of. Yeah. They think, oh, I'm going to leave my kid with this woman and that woman. You look no. disgusting. You're like disgusting. I'm sorry, but you really are. Yeah. You got to take care of them. Anybody can be a father, you know, uh, be uh, make a baby, but it's a real man that takes care of his kids. Exactly. And, and and taking care of someone is not a phone call. I'm no. sorry. That does not establish a, like a relationship or even a relationship with your kids, just calling them. A relationship is like, you got to be active, participating, not just what? phone calls. But yeah. Totally here. Yes. So what are your plans today? I'm about to go work like usual. And okay. I've been Terrible. going with days without sleep as you guys. Can show. Oh my God, girl. I couldn't sleep last night. I think it's this new moon. Oh my God. No, I'm just, I, moon. I, I've been drinking some energy drinks. So that's what's been. Oh, no wonder. Well, I need to, cause I'm working a lot of hours and that's what I'm saying. These guys, I do you guys see I'm killing myself? If I have to kill myself, like what is the purpose of you? You know, that what? right. Yeah. You got it. You ain't contributing nothing here. Like, no, you're pointless. I don't care how cute they are or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll end on that note. No, (laughs) you want want to add anything else, Delia? No, I don't. Just have everybody have a blessed Tuesday. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, there's some comments now. Let's, I didn't see the comments pop up. Let's see what they said. Oh, BB said you look cute. I love it. Purple, love it. Let's give her some Jack and Coke so she can spill the tea. Oh, <laughs> look at, uh-uh. I'll just take the Coke with ice. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> and then, oh, they'll build, spill the beans. Right. And Miss Cuba Dorian said, hey, Spice and Delia. Hey. hey. Thank you guys for I'm waiting on my air fryer. Oh, did you order an air fryer from her? I did, but she had a lot going on. I okay. Was told okay, Miss Cuba Dorian. Delia wants her air fryer. No. I love Miss Cuba Doll and Miss Baby. Yeah, we love you guys both. Those are our girls. But we're about to end, you guys. I'm about to go work. I'm about to find me some food. And I'm about okay. to take this wig off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Make sure and follow us on YouTube. Bye, and guys. Pretty Thank soon we'll have Aaron Foster on next time. Yeah. We'll see you guys okay. later. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. And meeting for all. Okay.